I couldn't run away anymore because every time I ran away, I'd get caught. Our top story tonight, a victim and survivor of child abuse speaks out, sharing her story during Child Abuse Awareness Month. Thank you for joining us. I'm Rich Pierce. And I'm Kate Davis and News 9's Alex Taylor sat down today with that woman who says she wants others to know there are people who care. Alex joins us live now in Steubenville with more. Alex. Rich Kate, a child's place, CASA, an organization that advocates for child abuse victims and also cares for them, currently has 180 children in their care between Brooke, Hancock, and Jefferson County. Today, I spoke to a woman who is still being abused. She's 47 years old. We've concealed her identity for her safety. We always had to go outside because um, they were all drinking and they would get me in the uh, camper and hold me down. Now 47 years old, she remembers her violent abuse beginning four decades ago. And you couldn't scream because the radio was always loud. Oh, I used to always remember I couldn't, there was nothing you could do. I would fight it off, fight it, but it, I would just wear out. Her father and stepbrother were the ones attacking her. She told us she remembers crying in school while another girl she knew held it all in. Though people called the police on her behalf, she never told on her dad. You're just too scared to tell because they had guns and and you got a dad that's now drinking and it's his girlfriend and you're, they're not listening. April is Child Abuse Awareness Month and local organizations are setting up pinwheels to raise awareness. People, um, you know, don't want to believe people are hurting children. Um, and so it's important that we raise the awareness each April and talk about it. We need to be reaching out and helping um, the people that live next to us or people at work, people at our churches, and reaching out and helping families that are struggling. And the woman says that's the one thing that really does help is having people who she can talk to still to this day. There are people out there that care and um, don't keep it in because it'll ruin your life if you keep it in. A Child's Place Casa is a court-based program and they are searching for volunteers. If anybody is interested, you can find that information on our website, WTOV9.com. Reporting live in downtown Steubenville, Alex Taylor, News 9.